Hi, my name is Chandler Gallagher. I'm a student nurse from Cedar Crest College, and today I will be critiquing spirituality and spiritual caring, nurses' perspective and practice in palliative and acute care environments. The research problem in this study was that nurses were not implementing spiritual caring as well as they could have been. So the reason for this study is to raise the profile of spiritual caring by nurses, identify if there are any differences in between um, the two groups of nursing, such as acute care nurses and palliative care nurses, and is also identify any barriers. This is relevant to nursing because spiritual caring is essential for holistic nursing, but it wasn't being carried out as well as it should have been. This is a cross-sectional descriptive design study. There is no theory framework or model that was used in the study. There were, however, six questions that were used to guide how this study proceeded. Those questions were, do perspectives of spirituality differ between palliative and acute care nurses? Do RNs practice spiritual caring in palliative and acute care environments? Does spiritual caring practice differ between the two groups of RNs? Do RNs perspectives of spirituality influence their practice of spiritual caring? What barriers to spiritual caring are experienced by RNs in palliative and acute care? Do RN spiritual perspectives and spiritual caring influence barriers to such caring? There was no hypothesis stated in the study. There were, however, some intended outcomes. The one intended outcome was to determine if there are differences in spiritual caring between palliative and acute care nurses. So they really wanted to know, does work environment play a role in how spiritual care is implemented in the nursing profession? There was no intervention and no treatment. Like I said before, this is strictly just a descriptive study. So that means that there was no independent, no dependent variables. There was, however, an extraneous variable um, where it took place, Sydney, Australia. So it's hard to say if we could really apply this to the United States or less metropolitan-like cities. The research variables are the nurse's view on spirituality and the nurse's implementation of spiritual care. The study conceptually defines spirituality as being this kind of broad topic that has, over time, transformed into more secular identities. Operationally, they define spirituality as using the spiritual perspective scale, the SPS. They conceptually define spiritual nursing care as a concept with transcendent dimension of belief in a higher being and with more material and humanistic pursuits along a horizontal dimension both dependent on a broad concept of belonging and family. They operationally define spiritual nursing care using the Spiritual Care Practice Questionnaire, also known as the SCPQ. The sample consisted of 42 palliative care nurses and 50 acute care nurses, all within the city of Sydney, Australia. There was no inclusion and no exclusion data. The acute care nurses also consisted of a mix of medical and post-surgical patients. Consent was obtained from each health center by the director of nursing. However, it's not clear in the study if consent was obtained from each individual nurse um, that partook in the study. As quoted from this study, ethics approval was obtained from institutional ethics committees prior to commencement of the study. The data collection procedures included demographics, two questionnaires, the SPS and the SCPQ. The SPS really just asked the nurses, how much of an impact does spirituality have in my daily life? The SCPQ was more of a two-part questionnaire. The first part was a section describing different spiritual activities and practices. The nurses would write this and um, on how much it was implemented in their daily life as a nurse. So they could either score between a 9 or a 45. If the nurses scored at least a 32, that was proof that spiritual caring was being implemented in their nursing practice at least occasionally or often. The second part to the SCPQ was the barrier section, and this consisted of nine questions. The nurses could either select that they agree or disagree with the statement. 
so in the results section, the demographics showed significant differences. Um, huge differences in the average age of the nurses, the years experience, and educational levels. There was more women in each group. The SPC, or I'm sorry, the SPS, the palliative care nurses scored higher, and with the SCPQ, the palliative nurses also scored higher than the acute care nurses. Both groups, however, ranked insufficient time as the number one barrier to providing quality spiritual care. More palliative than acute care nurses ranked insufficient education as the second leading barrier. <clears throat> there were some limitations on this study, such as the diversity of acute care nursing specialties. There wasn't a whole lot of a mix with the acute care nurses, so that could definitely be a limitation on the study. There was significant difference in years experience. Experience and education have been recognized to impact on the delivery of their spiritual caring and to influence their ability to practice it. So we already know that this study really wanted to look at work envi environment and the implementation of spiritual caring. So the main recommendation is to increase our own spiritual awareness and spiritual caring and to overcome the spiritual caring barriers identified. More educational on programs for spiritual caring needs to be implemented into nursing programs currently. In conclusion, palliative nurses scored higher on acute care than acute care nurses, suggesting that they provide better spiritual care. There was no treatment in this study, so <clears throat> also more education on spiritual care and current nursing programs should be provided. So that's the end. Thanks for tuning in.